Demystifying, meet. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving deep into the English phrase, meet. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand its many uses, but you'll also be able to use it confidently in various situations. Let's kick off our journey. Meet primarily means to come into contact or come face to face with someone or something. For example, I will meet you at the cafe at 3 p.m. Have you met my brother? Here, meet refers to encountering or being introduced to someone. English often uses meet in set phrases or idioms. Here are some of the common ones. 1. Meet someone halfway. To compromise with someone. 2. I can't buy the item for $100, but I can meet you halfway at $75. 3. Meet one's eyes, to make direct eye contact with someone. 4. When I asked her the question, she didn't meet my eyes. 5. Meet one's match, to encounter someone who is as good as or better than oneself in some skill or quality. 6. The champion boxer finally met his match in the young contender. Using meet in different tenses can slightly alter its meaning. 1. Meet, present, refers to a future plan or arrangement. 2. I meet Jane for dinner tomorrow. 3. Met, past, indicates an action that already happened. 4. I met her at a conference last year. 5. Meeting, continuous, describes an ongoing action. 6. They are meeting for a project discussion now. It's easy to confuse, meet, with other words or its different uses. Here's a quick clarification. 1. Meet versus meet. Meet, refers to encountering, while, meet, is edible animal flesh. 2. Meet up versus meet. Both can mean to come together, but, meet up, is more informal and often implies a casual gathering. 3. Let's meet up for coffee sometime. 4. I have a meeting with my boss. Now that you're equipped with the knowledge of how to use meet, it's time to practice. Try creating sentences or spotting the word in books or conversations. Remember, learning is all about consistency and practice. We hope this video has been insightful. Until next time, happy learning!